Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by StrikeForceEnergy.com. Put down the water and grab a fucking drink. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! What is I would, up? I would be happy, but I'm in pain. Why are you in pain? What's Why? What, what happened My to you? My neck is so fucked up. Oh, what, from that, you, uh, your, your Travis Pastrana thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, stuff like a turkey out there by oh Travis. Oh my god. There, there's something you know? the Drinking Bros community wanted me to ask you. Uh, you posted something yesterday that said you're in a 20 pound weight challenge with Street Bike Tommy. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. That's first to lose 20. Cool. Cool. Uh, the the only problem with that is uh, June 1st, you have to face up to the 25. McNugget challenge. Oh, that's that's, uh, that's fine. Frank you know, Montoya just, Jr. is I'll put just, down. I'll just I'll just I'll mow the lawn. You know, I, I I'll mow the lawn and sweat a little bit. I'll get rid of those nuggets. <laughs> you'll you'll mow the lawn. Would you say your lawn Damn. is big enough that, that's, to mow? That's cardio for Jared is mowing the lawn, but you're eating while while you're while you're <laughs> well, doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's 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 other lawn. You know, I'll mow everybody's lawn. June first. Wait, are you yeah. gonna cut? Are you gonna cut pubes off chicks? No. Was that a euphemism? No. For, we're talking for, about cutting grass for vag for vag uh, services. And sweating. I'm talking about cutting grass. Cutting grass. What I like that. I like about? that as a euphemism for 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 mowing bush. Like, hey man, you. Yeah, cut, it's almost like you, you know cut cutting a rug tonight? to dance. You're gonna yeah. cut some grass. Yeah, man. I'm, yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna go grass. out mowing the lawn. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some octopus mouths. Oh god! Oh, oh boy! Octopus. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that's what we were discussing before the show. How a butthole is almost like an octopus mouth. Yeah. You know, imagine if it had like little talons. Or no, they're not a beak because octopus has beaks. Yeah, it's a yeah. beak. It's Got a, a beak. hard, it's a sharp beak. beak. Can you yeah. imagine if you're getting ready to put your finger back there and a little sharp beak just kind of bit at you? <laughs> oh <laughs> what, what, boy! Is it like a nibble or is it a bite off the bat? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I feel know. like it's a probe. I kind of nibbles. Like, is this tasty food? If it was Jared's butthole, it'd probably have a little beak from a, a little baby chicken from all those fucking <laughs> hot dogs that he stuffs down his fucking. Wait, wait a chicken beak? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, why well, would chicken all nuggets be a chicken beak? <laughs> because the chicken nuggets you eat. For the okay. challenge. Oh, okay. I mean, are we still twenty five? By the way, who knows what's? Yeah, in the we're still we're still twenty five. Frank is, Montoya is Jr. Pushing. is still in the lead with twenty five nuggets down. You, there has been other challenges, and everybody's fallen short. We've had a couple twenties. No one has has eclipsed twenty five yet. Oh, twenty five yeah, is the new leader. Uh, I actually have a video clip. I I can eat a McDonald's cheeseburger in eighteen seconds. What? Yeah. Oh wow! Really? Oh, so that's a th- that's three cheeseburgers a minute. I saw it. All right. Well, yeah, hey, yeah. S- send that over. We'll put that up on Drinking Bros Instagram, yeah, and then I'll, that'll uh, put a little fear into the heart of, of Frank Montoya Jr. Uh, it's coming over to you right He's now. He's coming at Ross. you, Junior. Um, also, too, you know what I looked up the other day? I wanted to know how uh, artificial crab meat was made. Oh, oh man! You that, know what? I'm, it's actually I'm strangely fish. Isn't it's it? fish. It's tilapia, isn't it? It's, it's fish. It's not tilapia. It's this. It's, it's this white fish. Yeah, they really budget um, fish that they do. Yeah, and they freeze it in these giant blocks. Say and what? It's, and it's yeah, and then they, they well, it's paste. Yeah, they put it in yeah, blocks, they process freeze it, it, and then they sh- and then they they process it. They turn it into like this this cons- this new consistency, and then they paint it. Yeah. With food coloring. I like that. I like everything it's about it. It's great that. for you. It's just like chicken nuggets. They paint on the I, grill marks. They're not I, real grill marks. I used no, to not. love no, uh, that's the, not true, the is it? seafood sub from Subway. You Wait, know? are you serious, Ross? They're they're painted on grill marks. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not real. Yeah, they're not I don't real. think there's grill marks on chicken I didn't, No, no. He's talking about the burgers. The, the, the burgers, burgers and everything oh, else. Burgers. Like all the food that has grill marks is not real grill marks. What is it? What kind of paint is that? I don't food know some paint? Fu- food it's paint. Like it's burger paint. Google it. Food uh, paint. Yeah, it's you know, delicious. Here, I wonder what is a fun fact about tilapia that a lot of people don't know, and why I actually eat tilapia. Most tilapia served in the United States is grown in prisons. Really? That's why I like it. Well, did you, did you know that the, <laughs> the, the nutritional value of tilapia is actually terrible Negative. compared yeah. to horrible. like what it is? It's yeah. horrible for you. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> every time I eat it, it warms my heart to know that a prisoner is making it for me. <laughs> yeah. you know? I was in octopus. Feeding those little dirty bastards uh, in their social, fucking yeah. Social stratification, that's fine. In... It's top tier right there, man. Make <laughs> hey, my food it's, prisoner. It's not a prison industrial complex. <laughs> yeah. Not a big deal not at, all. at all. I was in Don't aquaculture in high school and we grew tilapia and I got in trouble because our, our goldfish ended up on the roof. But what? <laughs> yeah. What? Me and my part me and my partner threw the goldfish on the roof. Oh, okay. what? What, 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 what was the goldfish? Did I just name? fucking I blanked out for like one second. He's talking about a fucking <laughs> a goldfish, goldfish on, on a roof. roof. Yeah. I was in aquaculture in high school. 
Oh. So as as the year project, <laughs> we grew a giant <laughs> tank of tilapia. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting. But you started to graduate to the tilapia tanks. You started with a goldfish, and I didn't get to graduate to the tilapia tanks. Oh, Dude, Jared sure sure talks oh. about this stuff. Like, like he talked about the junior Navy. What was it called? Like junior seamen or no, something sea like cadets. that? No, sea cadets. Yeah, sea cadets. And then what's this? Aqua something? What? The, the <laughs> thing Aquaculture. Aquaculture. Aquaculture, yeah. All that is is fucking... A random, like, middle-aged man from the fucking Navy base used to come pick him up and drive him around in his car. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got a fish tank in his fucking next, house. I sat no, next to Lisa Otley. me on the zipper, Otley. Jared. In, in aquaculture, I sat next to Lisa Otley and passed her notes. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you did. I did. <laughs> it wasn't fucking I mean, old man Steve Lisa. with a lazy we eye that you fucking with drive her. around in I'm the I'm just stoked that everybody hours. on an audio show can really resonate with Lisa. I mean, you know. Lisa Otley. Yeah. Lisa's so fucking Jesus. She was the co- the coolest in one high of, school. One of the weirdest nights I've ever spent in my life with Jared was with fucking Lisa Otley. No, no offense. With I, a fucking with a shit stained fucking underwear dance in front of me as I'm like trying to sleep on the couch. No, that was not that was not her. Well, let's well, let's get that. Yeah, it wasn't oh, that was her. It was what? the other. It was the other dude that I'm fairly convinced wanted to have a three way, but was more. More interested in having just a two way with Jared. Oh, and there was like, <laughs> it was such a fucking weird. This night, is real. Dude. Yeah, he had shit stains on him. Yeah, and I'm in the couch in the other room, and you know, obviously, like Jared's not having a fucking three way, but there's like some interest in both parties. So the dude <laughs> and the chick. I was, I was in my own world. Okay. I didn't even He's know like what was going on. texting on the yeah, fucking beanbag like, okay, okay. Yeah. next to these two. So interest two between the girls. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Lisa it, and, the, and shit stain. No, no, not Lisa. Like this is it, somebody else. Yeah, just imagine <laughs> that you're watching like something on National Geographic about pheasants mating and there's like three of them in like a tiny covey, but then right. one of them isn't interested and the other one has shit stained underwear all over <laughs> it. <laughs> I got, I'm, you're painting yeah. a great picture of and, this, and this then cubby I'm like, of shit stain. And I'm just the guy recording it in the background. <laughs> I just like, you're, you're natural geographic. Well, I did. <laughs> my, he, I did. Like I, I looked up from my phone and I saw him just like, like, like trying not to laugh. It was fucking and awesome. I was like, oh, whatever. It was awesome. Like, it was a super weird experience. What, wait, what was he dancing to? That's what I want to know. I actually can't remember. I won't no, say it, his it, name. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't real music or so. It was like weird like hippie music it was hippie shit this is hippie this was we were we were like in in seattle at lisa's house and i mean we're everybody was a little bit drunk we'd been up on the fucking roof and and uh you know it it, jared was like totally disillusioned because he had this like intense crush on this girl but then you know, she's like an adult now, and you know, <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Yeah, he was having some weird adolescent like he memories. Was, yeah, you know, but he was super respectful and very nice. I'm pretty sure that they could have had a. He could have definitely had a two way with the dude. Dude with the dude. With the dude. <laughs> with the dude. God, you would have had. You would have shit stained underwear and a bunch of cum in your Ew, mouth. Oh God, uh, this is uh, disgusting. He, he would have filled that belly button up with fucking oh, eight ropes of white freedom. Oh man, I hate this. Painted on thick. <laughs> Painted Oh, I'm thick. Gross. Yeah. Where, you know? Where's this girl now, by the way, Jared? Do you still follow her on Facebook? I'm sure. Uh, yeah. I I don't know if she's still on Facebook. I think she is. Yeah. I mean, she's in Seattle. She's a fashion designer. Like, I get like designs. Fucking girls. Fashion is that where you get all your tips from? Was is her? What, what t- yeah. fashion tips? Yeah. yeah, for, yeah. A, lot, for a lot of designing R15. You know, a snazzy dresser, Jared. Oh yeah, yeah. You he is yeah. known for his fashion, you know. Yeah. He's got Drinking Bros fitness shirt on, which is fucking comical. Which is in a double XL, and then, <laughs> and then a Nitro Circus hat on. Yeah, and a very nappy beard. Are you gonna trim that thing up, or are you yeah. just going with it? No, 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 no. I need to cut it and just, you know, I hurt my neck. <laughs> that's like that. That's Jared right there. He's like eating three cheeseburgers. Like, dude, I thought you were gonna die. He's like, oh, I hurt my neck. Like, there's no correlation between you eating three cheeseburgers and hurting your neck, but. Uh, How do you sympathy. know? Like, it's, are it's, you? Yeah, I, I side with Jared on this one. I think it's a sympathy eat. I'm with I'm with okay. you, Jared. Um, I think it's a sympathy eat. I think he's in a lot of pain, um, and he's eating his pain away. Because you're not a pill guy, so it's it's got to be food, right? Yeah. 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 Well, I had talk I had Taco Bell last night, and I'm pretty. Did I'm, you really? I'm pretty beat up about it this today. I'm gonna have to do some extra cardio. Yeah. Man. Man, Fucking did you really have Taco Bell? You never have Taco Bell. I, dude, I, I never, you know, I was I was at Unicorn Ranch um, with, with Eli, and we were editing and working. We decided to drink some wine and some whiskey together. Did, did Eli have to go get a Glock around one o'clock? <laughs> yeah, he left. <laughs> he, had to, he had to go do some weird shit. I don't ask anymore, you know? 
Uh, <laughs> and then I was the Uber driver was like, "You're hungry. I'll stop at Taco Bell." And I said, "Okay." And I is that Eli's girlfriend Taco by the way Bell. on Instagram? I saw him with on Instagram that video you guys posted on Black Rifle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. that uh, Alex. Um, I forget her last name. Vija yeah, or something. Yeah, that's she's probably like one of the biggest uh, female gun enthusiasts out there on she's, Instagram. She's, yeah, she's, she's hot. hot. She's hot. Yeah, good. She's, good for Eli. Tell my said congrats. She's in the larger. Yeah. yeah she's, Tell my said congrats. She's cool, dude. She makes fucking great cupcakes too. So send some out, please. I had Does one she of live those. in here? No, she lives in fucking. He was out there, and she owns her own cupcake place. Like, yeah, that's right. She's out. She's out this yeah. way. She's out in like South Carolina, I think. Yeah, she's like thirty minutes from you. So yeah. I, t- I told Eli I'm gonna hit her up when I go out there and see you. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Stop by. <laughs> no, for cupcakes. For cupcakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for cupcakes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna totally. see if she wants oh, to buy, yeah, buy a yeah, Glock. Yeah, I want to see if she I wants heard to buy she a was Glock. selling some Glocks. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to go to Value Saver parking lot at 1:30 in the morning and buy a Glock from her. Buy it's a not Glock a big deal. I met her on Craigslist. <laughs> Whatever, right, Eli? If you're listening, <laughs> I don't think he listens. Just like no da- listens just like to dabble in a mail. Nobody listens to this. No, for the listeners. So whenever we someone's doing something weird, we call it buying a Glock because when I used to live at Unicorn Ranch, Eli was like 9:30 p.m. He's like. Hey man, I'm gonna take off for a little bit. I was like, no worries. Where are you going? He's like, oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sell a Glock or buy a Glock. And I was like, it at it's Tuesday at 9:30 p.m. and you're gonna go buy a Glock. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he came back like an hour later with the same Glock that he had to do this trade. And he's like, uh, he was just checking it out. I'm like, that's the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, just tell me if you're fucking dudes. I don't care, man. But yeah, but I lived with him for a while and you never did anything weird. Nah, it's he's Eli. Yeah. I mean, he's just weird in general. He's just kind of <laughs> sketchy. You know? I like you. I like you. Eli, Eli's great. You know, but we got to make fun of her friends. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, I love Jared Taylor, but he's a fat fucking daddy fatty little roly poly. What's a daddy fatty? <laughs> yeah. Daddy's little fatty. Daddy's little fatty. Oh, yeah. Daddy's little fatty. Daddy's oh, little fatty. Daddy's Jeez. little fatty. We're going to make you eat chicken nuggets in front of everybody. I can't wait. I will. I don't June care. 1st, Jared. June 1st is coming real soon, my man. <laughs> Uh, w- I gotta, I gotta weigh in before and after the nuggets. Yeah, uh, you boy, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say four pounds is what you gain from those. Four, nuts. four from those. I'm nuggets. Gonna, no. yeah. I'm gonna say one point one. Yeah, I think Matt's Matt's on. I don't depending think so. on what his water consumption you can't, you is based can't off of the salt. Four all pounds of anything do, in your all stomach. All you have to do is look at the hot dog eating contest, which I'm sure you've done. I'm, you probably masturbated to those little Asian men eating eating all those fucking. No, things. actually, last night I I was I was I, I was intently watching how. To do a backflip on a jet ski. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> considering, considering Jared is physically wrecked right now, I have no idea why he's researching anything to do with a fucking backflip. Anything, well, with I mean, anything I, physical. Yeah, you I'm just be watching. Doing that. Well, I'm just I, watching. I mean, I, to to his defense, I just got a cast off, and I'm trying to ride a bear. So true. you know, it's true. YOLO. And and we're also looking into renting a wild animal. Yes, yes, we are. Yeah. Hey, can we discuss that, Evan? <laughs> can we can we discuss that? Because I, I, I've I've worked with a live animal before, and we've 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 had this discussion. Yeah, you're an alligator, <laughs> didn't you? I, I, I wrestled yeah. an alligator on a tour on a tour bus. It was a small space, and uh, I, I don't think you guys really know what you're getting into. What kind of animals are you looking at renting for the audience? You know, animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but what yeah. kind specifically? You got a bear? I know you guys want a bear. What's the other thing you yeah. want? <laughs> uh, do we want something else? Uh, yeah, I, I would imagine Cougar. we're just going to try to Let's try just to get fucking all. go all all yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, you I kinda, should drive I, a car with I, a cougar. Yeah, and I kind of want to box a kangaroo. Like after that one video came out of that dude hitting the kangaroo, like I want a round with a kangaroo. Maybe I'll trim the fucking talons so it doesn't rip my throat open, but you know? I don't know if I would want to box a kangaroo. They hit hard, dude. I know, but I mean, a kangaroo's kind of cool. Yeah, they are. I mean, I'd want to ride in its pouch. <laughs> Man, I, I, I can yeah, tell you uh, this: if you go I, to the place, I just want, I just want kangaroo meat. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. delicious. I mean, I, I would prefer to like hack their stupid fucking heads off than like ride them. You know what I mean? That's something we should start doing. Is like when we have important people over to the company, we only present them with two really fucked up meal options. Like, oh, we have kangaroo steaks and uh, alligator shavings. Which one would you like? <laughs> I was no, no. So it's, it's gotta side, be gerbil uh, meat. Gerbil. I, meat. Yeah, yeah, we got gerbil kebabs. Yeah. Gerbil. Oh, it's like we've got boy. an. Asian, we've got an Asian street vendor just cooking random yeah. things that don't really look like things that aren't rodents. Well, they came out and said uh, the FDA said over a million pounds of rat meat was being passed around as chicken nuggets. Well, yeah, because you, you actually there's a there's a there's like a percentage and it's like you know, point zero zero one or whatever uh, is is like feces. you can have whatever. Yeah. yeah. So 
just based on statistics on however many fucking millions of pounds are digested of, of yeah. chicken nuggets per year internationally or nationally, you're going to say, fuck, this is about what? How many fucking Yeah, if you ever do like a meat there? analysis of what's actually in like fast food restaurants, there's a percentage oh. that they allow for human hair, human like skin deposits, yeah. and a lot of other things. It's fucking pretty goddamn Ew. gross. What? No, yeah, it's awesome. You know, that's why I was a big fan of Costa Rica because like all the food was because <laughs> they're legit. Oh well, boy, it was super fresh. It was a fish. That's why I'm down. always that a big fan of Mexican fresh. water sure because you know what you're getting door. is pure. Yeah, it like, depends where you're going. It's to. a fishing town. You go to a fish taco hut. Like you oh, okay, see, okay. Oh, you yeah. see the fish being processed 100%. in front of your face, yeah. and that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I that one you. I'll give you, but but the, if if you had like meat there, you can you can assume it's somebody's dog in Costa Rica. Well, what is it like taco? Bell, I think in their ground meat, it's like I think it's it has to be only forty percent beef to be considered yeah. meat. It might yeah. be less than that, like thirty seven percent. There's a lot of wood in there, isn't there? Well, no, they do all the that not so. yeast, but the fucking like soy product and all that other uh, bullshit. I'll tell you what, I like wood. I yeah, like I that. You like wood? Filler. Big fan. Yeah. You know, my you know what likes wood? Clam holsters, and I love clam holsters. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you know is a gets clam? Great dick hugs. You, you ever seen fuck? a? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, dick huggerus hey, uh, so, so evan, here's uh, evan yeah, real right. quick uh i looked up my my guy who i use for for one of these i, I read i've rendered animals on on several occasions so I'll, I'll list off the animals they have for you uh one i rented from phil's animal rentals um you can get <laughs> that guy sounds legit yeah. big dales cougars yeah. and wild things exactly Random by the minute you can uh all right so you can get cows donkeys mules goats uh, horses, llamas, alpacas, pigs, she oh rams. You can get rams Ooh, there. Alpaca. Um, that's dope. I if you could if you ran straight into a ram mat, that'd be fucking awesome. That would injure you. That would that would hurt. I'd wrestle like they're one. They're built for it. Yeah. Uh, you, let's see. You can get uh, flamingos, peacocks, uh, doves, white doves. Let's not okay. let's not forget yeah. the the time that Ross wrestled at a bowl. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, hey, no. did that really happen? Yeah, that, that mean, really happened. Like, I mean, they really they wrestled the bull down, and then Ross got on it to pose, and then he was gored. Well, they they told me they told me straight up. They were like, "Look, you got about five seconds here, and you got to get out of here cleanly." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, no big deal." I jump, I I jumped away from this thing not fast enough, and it fucking hooked me. I still have a scar from it. Um, <laughs> It's it's on the back of my leg. You can get a. By the way, you can rent bulls at, at Phil's Animal Rentals as well, and reindeer. Oh, reindeer! Fucking reindeer! Reindeer! reindeer. Dude, that's we mine as well if we're down there. Yeah, we like, should we just could rent, film rent a Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. The other one had just as a blow its head off. The other one had the. Oh boy, could you imagine? Santa, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the worst skit ever. Yeah, it's a thirty-eight Looks acre like ranch. Christmas ending early, and he just mass murders all the fucking reindeer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and no, no, it's a Ford commercial, and then he drives away in a Ford, in a Ford Raptor <laughs> yeah. with tracks on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Presents will be delivered by Ford this, this year. year. The only, <laughs> what about Ford, the reindeer? The only <laughs> that <matter. laughs> It's like barbecuing. Dude, that's what I want to do. I want to start filming commercials for other companies until they tell me to stop. Dude, we have done that already with <laughs> hot dogs just in general. People are like, yeah, so we, really we were having this idea on the way back from the range. We were thinking what we're going to start doing is making commercials for companies that actually exist and then airing them on local television. Yeah, yeah. But don't tell them. So yeah, they don't whatever know. there's like a window tint place we just make the most so fucked up there commercial. was this in my instagram inbox do that this company that <sighs> makes em. that makes towel sized wipes was like oh your lifestyle seems to fit our wipes like i'm like i should be like yes yeah, send me the wipes and i'm just gonna make the do most it. fucked up commercials <laughs> is it like ever? a wet wipe for yeah, a big one but it's a giant one God. speaking of oh, making so commercials <laughs> no seriously speaking of making commercials don't you guys have sponsors on this show, Ross? Do you guys do like <laughs> we do. sponsorship and we, shit? We do. You, you know what's Fucking funny, a. though? I, and I will say this. I'm glad you brought that up because uh, sometimes we get we get carried away with it. Somebody wrote in the other day. They were like, hey, guys, you didn't, you didn't get to your sponsors until like 20 minutes in the show. It was like, no, buddy. You skipped through the fucking beginning of the show. We ended up chatting for those first 15 yeah. minutes. And we got to the sponsors later. We're under no obligation 
to say, hey. I actually kind of like it because I want to give the sponsors love. So instead of you guys skipping them, you get to catch in there because exactly. we make them interesting. So, we don't read from a fucking paper. We got Ross, Pat- yeah. Ross Patterson to we, we've fucking got read no them. Yeah. You never know to say. You yeah. never yeah. know what we're going to connect with that product. Yeah, like, it's that's not, how it, Strike Come came about. Exactly. It's not rape. It's surprise <laughs> sex. And I'm going to have lots of it. Wait, uh, I, and since you brought it up first, though, we got Strikeforce Energy. Dot com. Uh, look, if you want to take on a ram head on, take some strike force energy. You can go fucking head to head with one of those goddamn things uh, and really get back the fuck up. But I'd say you have a better shot if you took strike force energy. It's the tastiest, tiniest little tin pouch full of energy that goes into every single liquid available. I'm talking beers, waters, liqueurs, uh, Kool-Aids, coffee. Perhaps you name it. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Use the promo code drinking bros. You get 20% off. They ship everywhere in the entire world. And they've got a subscription of the month club, which we all have. Uh, Next up, we got ghostbed.com. They're running the best, best uh, fucking advertisement in the biz right now on our page. That is now live. Now, if you take a video of yourself on the shittiest bed that you have, uh, they're going to send you a free bed and pillows to make up for it. So you can throw that shitty bed out the window. All you have to do is post a video on our page uh, or on Instagram and t- tag at GhostBed, and uh, they'll give you a free mattress and some pillows. Uh, the contest ends June first, and uh, you got you got to tag them. Go to GhostBed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. We just want to buy a get mattress. Get yourself a bed. Get yourself a bed. Get yourself a bed. Uh, Get a bed and watch your cat puke. They got they got fifty dollars <laughs> off uh, any mattress purchases. They got uh, pay as you go plans, um, and then the dopest mattresses they have. The contest though is what I'm fucking amped about. Um, send us your shitty beds and you sleeping on these shitty beds. I want to see how bad it's gonna get. Um, I have a feeling Jared slept on worse. No matter who sends in the worst bed that's not- in the ghost bed, you've probably slept on worse, Jared. Would you say no, that's true? No, it doesn't count. He doesn't sleep. That's passing out. <laughs> That's true. He's sleeping. He's very particular like about how he lays down, yeah, how he like nests, and he, he does like four circles around and scratches at it for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think his takes mattress a, takes a hot dog? Like. <laughs> takes takes a hot dog out of his pocket, slams it, and then fucking curls up curls like a little up. kitten. Yeah. Meow. What do you? Th- what, what, by, by the way, what, what do you think his mattress looked like uh, in that El Paso gonna- spare room? Oh, I know what it looked like. Yeah, we, yeah, I, all we had to there. throw it out. There's a, there's a reason I moved in with Jared, and then 12 hours later, I had my own apartment. Did you, see, I, did you see underneath the sheets? I never looked underneath the sheets. It's not because I'm a bad roommate. It's, you're not a bad roommate at all. Great. I'm, I'm talking just the bed. The yeah, bed he scenario. Sleeps that, in, that, that bed. He sleeps in until like, well, I shouldn't say he sleeps in until like eight. Yeah, that's, he that's is nice. up at 630 usually. Yeah, like it was weird because we'd be at his house in sleeping, and then he would be like, He'd be up to like four in the morning, just like fucking burning it down on clear liquor. And then he'd be up at like 630 cleaning the house. Like he's a terminator. Yeah, it's it's amazing. And he's just like, <laughs> Hey, what's up? How you doing? You like go to a, go and get a burrito and just normal day. That normal day all the time. I get up at like nine, like God, wrecked. I'm hungover, dude. This sucks. And then he'd have wrecked. burritos and he drinks like, Oh, I got some stuff. I made a design. I'm like, how are you up so never, early? Never hung weirdo? over. Never. Never hung over. Are yeah. you ever hungover? If I if I stray, I can only drink, bra- like bourbon and coke, or vodka and something. If I do anything other than that, my life is horrible. I've never okay. seen him hungover. Have you? Yeah, that's yeah. true. You're yeah. right. I I, I, I mean, I've either. seen him up at three in the morning pissing on fucking beds. Yeah, so. but that's <laughs> always that's always when it was a shot night. Or or people were always giving us weird shit like here's a Jaeger bomb, oh, here's yeah, a, like, here's, here's the blue Patron, tornado, bitch. here's Patron Silver, here's one fifty one. Yo, like, dude, follow me to the restroom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dude do that once. I was taking a piss. He's like, "Fucking mad best," and I was like, "Man, you want me to wash your hands?" He's like, "I don't care," and I was like, "I'm gonna wash my hands before I shake your hand because it's." A little fucked. Hey, he would have dick handed you. you. He would have dick handed you. Uh, speaking yeah, of you which, know, I if, got a nice cock. Yeah, you do. What? You do. I'm sorry, go ahead. Speaking of which, if you got a dick hand and you're in the restroom, use some grenade soap. Uh, dot com. Yeah. Uh, Segway Sally. <laughs> had to. Grenade soap. Pull the com. We should. Made in the USA. <laughs> they got soap, beard oil, dot bag, tactical toothbrush, and even a taint scrubber. Somebody bought the taint scrubber and put a pickup of it. It's a nice thing. It's a fucking awesome taint scrubber. 
Uh, and they, they also, I did also, see, yeah, the, the picture of it. It was nice. It looked like he had a clean taint. Yeah, there was a lot a of dirt in that taint. thing. He, but if you yeah. look closely in the that picture. The before and after was helpful. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. The, if you look closely in that picture, the guy had a weird owl tattoo uh, from UHF on his body. Oh, okay. The movie you were looking real close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, everybody, everybody <laughs> had blown it up of like, "Hey, man, I see." Did the he have an octopus scrubber. beak? <laughs> I, yeah, like grenade soap. Uh, yeah, so go to grenadesoap.com uh, for the best soap in the biz. It's uh, it, the, the, the soap smells like gun. They've got gunpowder inside the soap, which is dope. Um, and uh, they got they got tactical I, toothbrushes as well. I got two ideas here. Like number one, I think it's funny if we start breaking the sponsors up one at a time embedded in the show somewhere that we can't get to because i think i thought that was funny the it's way a, that he just did that oh yeah like we nice. were talking and then boom into grenade soap boom. And, and then and then we're not just <laughs> then we're not just you know four clumped together no it is. because like, that we got taints covers. number we don't want two taints clumped together let's talk about all the people you pissed off on instagram over uh your mother's day post on drinking bros instagram oh, oh you're, you're welcome I, I will Christ. i uh, you did? i'm gonna no, no, ross, ross. i did i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and buy by the way go to grenade soap.com for 20 percent off use the promo code drinking bros drinking bros uh 20 percent off at grenade soap.com i also had to scrub myself after making that instagram post people were really pissed off about that i all i said I was thought, you I know thought what? it was funny you know, i like really Ross, dark comedy like, it doesn't it, it it doesn't really make sense to me we've literally made a movie called helen keller versus night wolves and yep. you're upset that we made a joke about casey anthony uh, like my, come on i know people were like <laughs> too soon there was a girl who was like, you just lost a follower here. Yeah, there um, was another guy, too. You like, just lost have a fun, follower. Have fun being cockbags the rest of your lives. Like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Geez, all all I put was Casey Anthony's picture, and I well, just said, happy I mean, Mother's in certain, Day. In certain environments, having a cock bag would be pretty cool, because people would just put their dicks in it, and then you have a bag full of cocks. I don't know what you're going to do with those, but you can have, there's a lot of options. I don't know how you fit more than four at once. Well, it depends on the size of the bag. <laughs> I'm talking about the circumference Listen, of the I bet, dudes. You know, you could probably fit a lot more cocks in the back of a of, of a vehicle, like in the trunk. You yeah, could, yeah or you probably with a, could. Or with a beak butt. Yeah, you didn't get that. I was making a Casey Anthony joke just to really uh, piss him off. Yeah, there you go. Come on, there you go. Jared, there See, is. I I don't. I wasn't familiar with the story then because I always thought that they just found her. She had drowned in the pool in the back. No, that's the oh, story no. that, that that she was passing off. Casey Anthony was passing off oh, um okay. but what happened was is uh yeah they they uh, i watched the special did anybody watch that fucking that special that came out i i did not I did i'm not. surprised you did not jared because that's your you're a big casey, casey anthony fan um <laughs> <laughs> god no what, what does that even mean i feel like that's a, when people it's like it's a joke not a dick don't take it so hard and i think certain people find things to get offended at and like obviously is Casey Anthony a terrible person? Fucking absolutely, right? But you got to make light of this situation. Well, what, somebody what are you got gonna super do? mad about my Tanya Harding meme. All, all I got to say is, like, people made jokes in Auschwitz. So, right. like, chill the fuck out. Yeah, you know? Like, and you can say that because like, you're you, Jewish. You can, yeah, you, you can. Like, well, I mean, and I mean, honestly, like, it's like, if you can make jokes in Auschwitz, like, yeah. eating out of the same bowl that they made you shit out of shit into like 15 minutes before you go to the fucking gas station i'm pretty sure there's no there's no time where a joke isn't fucking right like, off limits no so it's like people just need to fucking chill out just f find a sense of humor man and yeah. laugh through your day or you're gonna fucking be all grumpy no. and get gray hair like jared somebody, yeah just, yeah somebody got all butt hurt about my tanya harding fucking meme mm, that's okay I, I said, do, do whatever it takes to win. Yeah, that's funny. That's super funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking but, funny. <laughs> by by the way, Jerry, there's a Tanya that. Harding moving being shot right now. Oh, God. God. Does yeah. it have the sex scene? I hope so. I hope so. I it, it. Dude, it's, you know, it's Margot Robbie, the, the blonde chick from uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, wow. She's playing Tanya Harding. Um, and they put like a fat suit on her for some scenes. Oh. Super stoked to see it. Super. I kind of want a fat suit. That'd be fun. Yeah. I mean, that would be a good investment. A, like, a if we put a fat suit, suit on, dope. and then I tried to get laid at a bar in a fat suit, yeah. I think I could do it. I bet you could. Yeah. yeah. The uh, hey, like a chick, like a chick fat suit. So it looks like you're a dude with big, big old floppy fucking titties. Titties. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah but we ass, have to. We have to make you a fake you. Instagram you tits, I suck where, your tits. where it's just a ton <laughs> of pictures of you with cats. <laughs> Yeah, Ow. fat like fat and cats. Literally yeah. catfish That's, yourself. Yeah, fat just you cats. dress up as somebody else and catfish. And if they and if they you. stick around for a second date, they get the real you, and it's like a prize. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm it's like, yeah, it's like the opposite of shallow how. 
Yeah. yeah. Hey, somebody yeah. got somebody got shallow how the other night on TV. Did you guys watch Breaking Bad at all? The TV uh, show. Yeah, yeah I watched yeah. Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah. So that that fat black guy who plays Huel on that show, uh, he came back the other night on Better Call Saul, which is the spinoff of it. Um, Amazing. He, he lost 180 pounds uh, between the two shows. So they were the producers were like, "Hey, man, can you put a fat suit on so you look as fat as you used to be?" And he's like, uh, "Do I have to?" I really don't want to. Like this was like a part of my health thing, but uh, they almost they almost fat shamed a dude the other night. Uh, yeah. He said no. <laughs> he said he wouldn't do it. So good good for- on him, you know. Yeah. Good on him. It's his life. You can do whatever yeah. the fuck he well, wants. It, Better they Call Saul him. was supposed to take they place fired him. <laughs> before, so why couldn't yeah. he have gained the weight? Yeah, he, he gained the weight. Something went wrong. Maybe his dad passed away of long, drawn out prostate cancer. And they could just go into a long story. That's what I thought. With that's him, a, yeah, that's right? what I thought. And he's like, he starts eating the pain away because he and his dad were really close. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know? Yes, that's exactly right? what I thought when I read that. I was like, <laughs> can't Christ, you just write man. in a storyline? Yeah. That, but that, that's exactly where my mind went, too. Uh, yeah. They tried to put that fucker in a fat suit, though. That's funny. Yeah. Now, it would be weird if he was in a shark suit. Yeah. Then it wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, then it would, uh, what, that are you would gonna be super fucking weird. transform into a human. That oh. would be good. Like I want to go to the bar in a shark suit and people are like, oh, were you at a shark party? I'm like, no, nah, I just I really like just, my shark suit. It's yeah. it's my Thursday night. It's thing. my Thursday. Yeah. Night it's my thing. Yeah. You know, uh, I gotta give Rod Ross props for that uh Why? that porn star getting getting bit by the shark. That, that was pretty was funny. funny. That was yeah. really funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, those <laughs> bars like no shit. Like, yeah, come you on, are you fucking stupid? And you're like, look at that thing. It's not a sketchy as fuck. Yeah, the cage was the fucking like Discount shark adventures. Yeah. It was like a foot <laughs> fucking yeah. island I, I, between by the way, all those there was, bars. There was a report dude. that it yeah. was staged. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, no, that looked like a real bite. That's what I thought um, too. It, yeah, even I mean, even if they did stage, stage it, shit. good for them. That was the best publicity stunt that of all time. Great. That yeah. was really good, yeah. Yeah, but what did it advertise? It's not like we're Cam- hurting, Cam- hurting for traffic on her. Because they'd be like, porn. who's the porn star? And then you porn her, and you're like, wow, no, she no, takes no, a yeah. dick oh, up the damn. ass real good. Oh, she had a, she had a bathing it, suit on that said Cam Soda. Um, and I guess it's like for a Cam Girl's website. Oh, uh, okay. I don't, I'm, I'm uh, not a big Cam Girl guy. You guys ever use the, the, the Cam Girls? You know a Cam Girl, don't you? Do we? Yeah, Harley Lots. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what's what's the whole story with that? Do you sit there in front of the ca- like the camera all day, or how does that work exactly? I, I've never they, known. So, one. like, the, I think the majority one because I got the whole lowdown from her because I wasn't interested in it at first, and then when she told me how much money she can bring in, I was like, wait, wait, what? Um, really, you just go on. It's like free cams, whatever the fuck it is, and then you go on there and you view these people, and it's more of an emotional component rather than physical. So you can like get private sessions with the person, and they like you know plow themselves out with a dildo. And the more you pay, the more you see. But a lot of these people, they just sell their numbers, Snapchats, and then she'll be like, "Hey, lovers, love you, bye, babes." And then they have like they think that they're in a relationship with her, although it's like twenty other dudes, and they give her lots of fucking money. Dude, you know what we do? What? We invest in a cam girl. Like and we 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 put her on. Re- we can we recharge. can make her number one. Like dude. put her on recharge and and charge thirty dollars a month for her Snapchat. Yeah. Fuck. What's recharge? Yeah. What is that? Well, it's an app that that yeah. just will auto bill you. Really? <laughs> why why haven't you guys done that for That's like cool. Art Fifteen or something like that? Where you put like girls masturbating in Article Fifteen shirts on like Snapchat? Is that a thing? We yeah. could do whatever we want Actually, with that brand. Yeah. We should. That would be a good idea. Art Fifteen cam girls, man. Yeah. 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 yeah let's just turn that Start into a, a team. Cam oh, thing. we yeah. have girls taking dumps in them too. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, what? what? <laughs> He's a slow mo dump in oh, a slow mo. No, no, it's, it's it's chicks taking dumps in competitors' at shirts. So yeah. that it's like. <laughs> no, I feel like there's some weird fetish people out there would like it. It's like that Instagram dogs taking dumps, just hot it's chicks taking Instagram. dumps. It's yeah. Is that por- pornography? Dogs? Yeah. No, no, girls taking dumps. Is that pornography? I don't, I don't know. think so. It, yeah, I think that's just Maybe if you don't show the the asshole it's itself. A, I, yeah, look, there, there's a like fetish for everything. <laughs> it's like I, the girls taking dumps. devouring a piece of shit. Oh no, I know. I I was I was with uh one of you guys and we were driving and uh I was like I'm going to come up with the weirdest thing I can Google and see if it exists and it exists. It was like Come fart porn, and there yeah, was compilations oh, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. we were on our way to uh, Denver. Yeah, and there was like they were like they were cream shitting farts. dildos into each other. It was yeah. fucking awesome. Yes. Oh god, yeah, it was it's pretty super cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I found another really good Instagram yesterday, Ross, and it turns out you follow it, but I I, I, I can't remember it now. But it's just people getting fucked up, like by nature or 
like Walk motorized waterfalls yeah and waterfalls and shit it's oh, like yeah, yeah. it's really good videos like dude jumping off like a hundred foot cliff trying to do a gainer and lands on his back god like, that's yeah. terrible yeah. dude yeah. I, I follow I a bunch of those videos i don't know i do too i follow a bunch of weird shit there you know there's private dude. accounts uh there's one called chode and uh <laughs> it, they, they just post like really fucked up shit but it's private so you can only see it if you know about it and subscribe to it um yeah, but there's a bunch of weird ones out there that I didn't know because I was like, eh, why, why would people do that if there's nothing to gain monetarily? It just turns out that there's fucked up people out there that, that want to share like a super dark sense of humor. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah, and I like that. I love it. And, and, and that in the, the dark web, dude, I didn't really know too much about the dark web. Do you guys know anything about the, how dark? Oh, no, it, no, I got I, it. It's called Cook Slams. K-O-O-K-S-L-A-M-S. Cook Slams. Like, God, there's some good fucking wreck videos on there. What's the dark web? Dude, I'm, the dark web? I just found out about this shit, too. What is really? it? This is, this, there's a whole other fucking internet. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah you there's get, a whole other yeah. internet, yes. That's, I know all about it because of, uh, of our, our buddy, which I won't name, who is uh, into the Department of Justice, like, sex criminals. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he says... So what's the dark web? Is this all for, like, weird that, fucks? Yeah, that's where, that's where you use Bitcoin and, and you... you buy illegal things and download illegal things yeah it, it's like it. super sketchy fucking yeah super sketchy like, yeah but I'm it's, sure there's plenty it, of there's plenty of drinking bros that know way more about yeah. us but. the dark web i'd love to oh, have somebody fine. on who really knows about this because apparently everybody's going there to buy drugs um, actually yeah. I, I i bet we have someone here that i i bet we have someone here that could so it's like a black yeah, market yeah, essentially Dan. yeah we keep put dan or on i bet robin. you he knows yeah or robin i guarantee i don't think robin knows a lot about that really no no yeah. no dark web's like a it's super fucking it's it's actually a yeah super dan might because weird thing man yeah like, but there's like there's like beheadings there's like uh sex rings there's uh you know well beheadings you get those on live leak totally yeah Totally, but uh, on the dark web, like, dude, you can pay to like see them live. Like, um, I mean, there's some what? super. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some super dark shit on there. So it's like pay per view for murder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. It's uh, super sketchy. A dude. lot of fucking child porn is on there. Like, you can. That's. You know, oh yeah. Uh, that's like where you let's have kill to kill them all. Yeah. And just then fucking, pills. Like, anybody and so what? The, in, what yeah. What they're doing. Well, is, no. By the way, actually, I want to talk about this because. You know what? I, I we were we were going to talk about this a while ago, but we we went on some other tangent. Um, I'm going to pull up the article right now. But a, a Air Force colonel was caught with seven thousand video files and pictures on his on 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 his hard drive in a folder labeled. Uh, it was it was labeled jailbait. What? And he got he got twelve months in jail for it. So seven thousand videos. It's fucking ridiculous. Did, like twelve months. Uh, did, was he actually? His name is Will. His name is Colonel William Jones. Like, what a piece of shit. Number one. He, number two. This is our justice system. Twelve yeah, yeah, months 12. for this guy, and his fucking wife and daughter testified for him. Yeah. Oh, he's a good guy. Like, uh, uh, not when you go into that fucking jailbait folder. Yeah. Apparently, he's not. Was he? You was he? Share, was he sharing them or selling them or what? What was the story there? No, no. no I, I mean, I, I don't. It didn't say anything about that. But so I'll tell you this. So a buddy of mine. Uh, is an is an investigator, and he sent me some data after this because he goes, you know, uh, rank has its privileges, and they protect their own. So he gave me a case study. E five found with eight hundred and sixty files of child porn. The punishment was four and a half years in jail, dishonorable discharge, and reduction to E one. Register as a sex offender. And E six found with fifty pictures of child porn. Eighteen months in jail, thirty thousand dollar fine, and dishonorable discharge. E7 found with 2,300 images and 300 video files, seven and a half years in jail, dishonorable discharge. E3 with five pictures sent by an underage female of her touching herself. He got 90 days in jail and a bad conduct disc discharge. He didn't ask for the photos that she sent. Oh, fuck. Study five, O3 with 150 image files. He got 22, 22 months. So an O6 with 7,000 images gets 12 months. So how is this fair? Oh, it's not. I think I think honestly there's there's a really there's a really good conversation in that, which is exactly that. Which well is, you start if, calling into more, question some of the rank above that 
of well, like, oh, are you are guys you, into some weird fucking? I, I think that's the real question. Like, yeah. what are you guys pedophiles? Yeah. Like, why are you that, protecting that, that guy? Yeah. I mean, why isn't he in jail for ten? You know, years? my general opinion of anybody with a star on their collar, yeah. anyway. I'm not willing to say that they're all fucking scumbags, but good god, man! Like when you're protecting your own like that, that's like blatantly obvious. Which is, if you're in command in the higher rank, you should actually have more fucking time. Yeah. Like especially for up. shit like this. Yeah, that, like, like that, that guy's here. Why don't we just fucking throw you in Leavenworth and you can just think about or, that for the next fucking thirty years? Like, let's just put you in a shredder. A shredder because, would be awesome. Oh, yeah. People that and this was and this is what my buddy that you works in this area. People that that continually to consume these this this stuff create the market for it. Yes. So you're yeah. You may think, oh well, I'm just downloading a picture. No. no. You're creating the market no, for it. No, it's supply and demand. That's somebody why that's it's such a bad thing. One hundred percent. This is why death should just be. It's instant. just like the yeah, like with drug trafficking and all that. It's like what I'm not doing any harm. Well, ultimately, the chain of events that happens for you to get fucking like hardcore narcotics, like or it murders behind all that. You wear that, you know. <sighs> do you ever do you ever think like posting pictures of your kids, Jared, and things like that, like? Uh, where that goes sometimes i do where i'm like fuck yeah, man I, yeah i've worried I, about that like i stopped i stopped posting anything on instagram because of that like, I, I did, straight but, up i was thinking about it the other day i was like nah i mean when it was just like a couple hundred people like those are just my friends and family yeah. i'm not worried about it but with like fifteen thousand or damn you your know, instagram famous uh, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I knew he was going to say something gay. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I, no, that, I, I that's was a genuinely thinking about people, that when I, that, I you know there's a, you know there's fucking pederasts. Well, that's that's, that's fourteen thousand five hundred people that you probably don't know. I don't know. Those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course. So you got guys in there that are like fucking whacking off to your kids. It's weird. Ugh. It's oh God, weird. damn it. I they uh the other one was a uh, DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Uh, he's got a kid. Uh, so, Khaled. He he just had a kid who's like six month old. He started an Instagram for his child named Assad, um, and the kid's got over six hundred and fifty thousand followers on Instagram already. It's six months old, and if you go to to Assad's page for the son of DJ Khaled, I don't know if he's setting him up for a future to be rich on social media. Like if it's a genius plan or if it's just like, oh hey man, there's like ninety pictures of your baby on his own Instagram page. Um, is that too fucking weird? Is that too young? Uh, it's a little bit. It's young. a little. I, you have to but subject I'll, that to them. That's, I'll tell you what isn't young, Ross. Black Rifle Coffee. It's two point <laughs> four years old. Yeah. And Black Rifle Coffee is a premium <laughs> roast to order, order veteran owned coffee company and operated. <laughs> And roasted. <laughs> Roast to order. You can use And the, if you subscribe to that, it's not illegal. Hey, I'll tell you what, you can absolutely get the best coffee in the nation roasted to order, delivered to your home every month when you join the Black Rifle Coffee Club. And when you do it, you're literally drinking freedom. <laughs> you're drinking freedom. Fresh oh, roasted freedom me. down that Fresh muzzle hatch. Fresh roasted damn it, that freedom. Got me. You know who's not free right now, but will be in, in 12 months, is that jerk off that had all those fucking child porn images. OJ gets out in Such October, a- too. OJ gets out in October. Oh, shit. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty amped about that. We, we got to get him on the show. Yeah. You we we got to get him on the show. By the way, Evan, uh, since we're talking about Black Rifle Coffee, I, uh, as, as well as getting my, my phone number jacked, I got my credit card jacked, so I had to get a new credit card. Um, not oh, that I, 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 had, I had mine. I'm going to take that because I had mine stolen uh, like two weeks ago. Yeah. Fucking annoying as shit. My, so same. So anyways, uh, and, and you don't think about it where you're like, ah, big deal. I got a new credit card in the mail. Nothing was really rung up on it. No harm, no foul. Here's the foul. I get an email from... All the 90 companies that I subscribed to, Black Rifle Coffee was one of them. I genuinely had a panic attack last night around midnight. Um, you can go on the Black Rifle Coffee website, and I was like, oh, my God. Is, is my Because I have a subscription to it. Is my is it, is it going to cancel my month? Did I give them the fucking wrong thing? What happened? I, yeah, so I plugged in the number, and then luckily... Uh, Isn't that... I Dude, I got fucked, almost got a niche on my credit score for that same exact thing where I forgot to update something like a gym membership, and they sent it to collections, and it was like, you owe 24-hour fitness. I'm like, I haven't even gone to that fucking gym in like a year, but I forgot that they were charging me for it. Yeah, yeah. Stupid. 
By the way, that 24-hour fitness bullshit, uh, I got caught up in one of those in L.A. You know, you have to... they're fucking stupid, man. You have to send in a handwritten letter to their office. Yeah, a certified letter, dude. To cancel your membership. And I was like, I I sent the first letter, and they claim they never got it. And I was like, motherfucker, that's because you you make us send a letter. Like, I've never seen anything like it. I railed on them. Um... Finally, I went on Twitter and said something, and then their fucking people contacted me, and they were like, please stop saying negative shit against the company. But, uh, dude, I, I sent a, a fucking letter like it was a- Abraham Lincoln sitting down by candlelight with a fucking quill to cancel my gym membership. <laughs> R- written in, and signed with a wet wax stamp, you know? Yeah, I was, I was not stoked about it. I was like, dude, this is a, a, a shitty fucking place to work out that I'm in town for for like three weeks on a, on a, on a gig. Like not a, a lifestyle or, you know, and not only that, but that, that motherfucker isn't open 24 hours either. It's open like, like 10 and it's like, <laughs> all right, cool. If you get there past 8 PM, you're not working out there. And it's like 24 hours of what just throughout the week you're open 24 hours. Cause it's not in, in, the, in the whole goddamn day. Um, I think some of them are 24 hours, but yeah, that's, that's kind of shitty, huh? Yeah. The one in LA is not, I can, but both of them are not. And they close down like super early. Uh, they're on like my wife's hours. Who's you know at fucking eight thirty? The world shuts down for her. Um, so, <laughs> um, anyways, with that, we'll get to the drinking bro of the week. We'll, we'll get. We'll, 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 let's get to it, shall let's we? Fucking do it. Uh, this one was submitted by Matt Mitchell. Um, he says, "I'm not sure how this is typically done, but I want to submit my woman of twelve years, Brittany Jacques, as drinking bro out of the week on Sunday." She lost her battle with Ehlers Danlos syndrome and the chronic pain that comes with it. Brittany was the best person I've ever known and had a bigger heart than I knew was possible. She treated everyone like they were family and would have given you the shirt off her back without a second thought. The world is truly a lesser place without her in it. She was my biggest supporter both before and during my time in the Marine Corps and always made a point to defend the veteran community and the healthcare issues surrounding the VA. She loved listening to Drinking Bros podcast in the car. She was able to get out of the house, and she loved, loved, loved Range 15. Uh, she would always lose her mind with laughter during the scene with Mary Dig trying to pick up the keys. Uh, man, that's uh, thanks, Matt Mitchell, well, for sending fun. that in. We're, we're really sorry for your loss. but Damn. Yeah, you know, cheers yeah, to you and your wife, cheers brother. Cheers to you. Sorry to hear that. We need to hit up Mary. Maybe get... Mary to write write her a little note on something and something that you can frame. You yeah, yeah, for uh, get, get something sent over from Mary, from from Matt Mitchell. I uh, it's funny, man. I, I fuck since we're talking about it. I remember sitting with you guys when we were writing that scene together, and we were like, dude, what would be something really fucked up that Mary could do? Um, and the keys thing was 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 always that was one of our favorite scenes from the writing process. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, to to what actually made the film. So. I'm happy you dug that. That was one of Mary's favorite scenes as well. She thought it was fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, I'm glad she got some laughter from it, man. That yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. And uh, he put, he enclosed a picture. Obviously, we're an audio show and we can't show it, but she kind of looks like a Vanessa Hutchins. She was uh, a beautiful girl. So uh, rest in peace, and we're sorry for your loss. Cheers. Yeah, Matt. keep keep his keep his contact info. We'll hit up Mary and see if we can get get something for sure. You know, sent over to them for sure. Uh, either way, this was this was a, a fucking fun show all the way around, though. <laughs> Hell yeah! Y'all. Breaking Hell up the yeah. sponsors, Evan. You you really got me with that one. Uh, <laughs> I have not been gotten in quite some time, and that one really got me today. So. It was he's you know you and him are good at segways. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> Se- Segway Stevens, Segway Stevens or Sally's, whichever way you tuck it that morning. You know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, for Evan Hafer, Mr. Matt Best, uh, Jared Cat Puke Taylor. I'm still holding on to that. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Fucking cat puke. God damn it. Uh, I'm Ross Patterson. Go to ticketfly.com and get your tickets for the live shows in Denver on June 20, uh, June 22nd and Colorado Springs on June 23rd. Uh, we're Come sh- be a part of history. Come be a let's part of it. history and be a part of the movie. Uh, we are shooting the movie there as well. So uh, come on out. We'd love to hear your stories and, and see you on film. Good night, everyone. Later. <laughs>